Look at this thing outside, like completely in the dark, away from any extra light. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones. Thanks for being here today and taking time out of your busy schedules. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everybody is trying to stay warm. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty cold. I know I said that last video, but uh, Florida's getting some, some pretty, pretty cold weather this weekend. Uh, it's kind of the middle of the day right now. Um, so it's not as cold, but man, this morning was brutal. Um, I hope everybody survived the great MF motor oil pigment shortage Armageddon of 2022. We will rebuild. And with that said, we're actually going to be showing you more pigments today. Um, particularly, we're going to be getting our glow on. Uh, so in the last video uh, where, we re where we were using the um, motor oil pigment, um, I think right at the beginning of that video, I kind of asked if anyone wanted to see some glow powders in some baits and a lot of people left comments yes please do the glow powder so what i'm going to do is while it's kind of still bright out in daylight um i'm going to you know make some stuff we'll probably do some injection and some hand pouring i really want to see some glow effect in like the uh, ai jerk bait hand pour and uh you know probably like some swim baits too and then uh, we'll do a couple injection things but then once it gets dark We'll uh, try to charge them up and show you the glow effect and, and try to have some fun with that. Um, so I think it'll be pretty exciting. This is not something, you know, I've really done a whole lot of. I did a glow in the dark bait video years ago, but it was just real basic. Um, hopefully we'll get some cooler effects today. Um, so let's get going. So I currently have some uh, five inchers kind of left on the hot plate here. And uh, I'll kind of show you all what these were. I don't really have a name for this color it's sort of like a I think some people would refer to this as like a super super light hitch um, but yeah it's sort of like a gold brown top with a uh, with a blue vein all clear belly so that's just uh, that's just the dead on plastic swim bait plastic there for the bottom no pigment at all yeah, I got these molds a little hot, a little bit of flash in there. Yeah, pretty color. Yeah, there we go. That's the whole, whole set of them right there. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice little color. So, yeah, there's a bunch of five inchers. And uh, now I guess we'll get to the main event. So, we have some horrible, sad, just gut-wrenching, breaking news. As I was literally cleaning off the table to start the rest of this video, the news hit. Tom Brady is retired. That happened like 10 minutes ago. Come on, man. Ah, no good. I'm going to miss watching him play. Best to ever do it. All right, glow powders. Yay, 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 yay. You know, nothing has meaning anymore. Uh, because Brady's now retired. So, yeah, whoop de doo <laughs> Seriously. Um, yeah, I'm not upset. Dang it. It's just never going to be the same. All right, so there are a lot of options here. Okay, sky blue sounds pretty cool. I have zero. I literally just cut the bag open. So I don't have any uh, experience with these yet. But I'm loving all the different colors here. This is what we just haven't really had a whole lot of. So, yellow green might make like a nice belly color with maybe that as like a vein, that as a top. Hmm, hmm, might not be bad. So yeah, you know, we're, we're gonna have some fun. That's the whole point of all of this is to have fun. Oh, blue green, I like blue green. Yeah, what's really going to be crazy is trying to pour all these during the day and then, boom, light them up at night so we can see what really looks like what. I should just pour them at night, but uh, my night's going to get pretty busy 
um, unfortunately. Okay, so anyway, this I believe is the whole collection. So you can see, uh, you know, Travis and the guys put together some really awesome stuff here. Does anybody know what this size means? Is that like a measurement of microns or something? I don't know. Have to look that one up. All right, okie doke. So we have some uh, swim bait plastic here, chilling, and we're just gonna mix up this belly color. So that's what we're gonna be using there for the bottom. Blue green, kind of makes me think this will come out a little turquoisey, turquoise-ish. Uh, so we're gonna find out. I'm super excited though. And you know, this is, uh, I'm a complete novice at this. I don't know if you have to mix in a lot to get the glow effect, or if you can get away with, why can't I open this? Or if you can get away with just using a little bit. You know, these are all things that are kind of still left to be seen. If I can get the dang bag open, golly. Cannot figure, here we go. So that's what we're gonna kind of figure out today a little bit is not only just how the colors look and just how neat this stuff can be, but also a little bit how to use it. Um, if you get the best glow effect from, you know, stirring in a lot, you know, I, I guess just kind of traditional thinking tells me the more you put in, probably the stronger the glow effect. I don't think that's, um, you know, that crazy of an idea, but at the same time, um, can you, can you get away with using a little less and still kind of get a certain level of saturation that you want to have in your baits? Or does that not matter when you're making glow baits for night use? You know, it, these, are all, uh, these are all interesting questions. So hopefully we're going to shed a little bit of light on that. And I would consider this not a lot of powder. And if we look at that on the table, that's um, that's still pretty see-through, right? So we're gonna try that. Okay, here we go. Let's kind of get these going. We poured some. Um, as you can see, we poured a little bit of the of, of the eyeballs in already. Just gonna fill up that belly section a little bit. Yeah. Pour the belly out into the body. So curious to see how this does. A lot of people have been um, using these already, posting up pictures in the Dead On group on Facebook, and they're looking awesome. So they they definitely have a really great glow effect. So I just hope that we can do something cool on here today as well. I have very very limited time to film today, unfortunately, and even more limited time tonight. So hopefully we get something decent uh, just on the few examples that we can do for y'all today. Yeah. So anyway, got the belly color going in. Again, this is the blue green. Then we're gonna do sort of a bright green vein and then we'll do a purple top. All right, so check this out, the green of course, looks very green. And that's kind of a, well, no duh statement, but for being a glow powder, um, it has really great coloring and you can see it's still transparent, right? There's, there's still the ability to pour sort of see-through colors, which I think is really, really, really cool. It's not just completely opaque like a crayon but there's still the color distinction there, which kind of leads me to believe that you can really, really tweak these just like a normal mica powder. You can really saturate it, or you can really not saturate it. But I think either way, you're still gonna get the glow effect. Um, but I'm really curious to see if more glow powder equals a stronger glow. I, I would have to imagine that it does. So that will definitely be something that we do. You know, maybe the next round of baits that we do, um, they probably won't be open pours like this, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll mix in a lot more glow powder and really saturate it. And then later on, once it's dark, you know, we can charge them up 
and just kind of see how the effect compares. All right, now for the purple top. Okay, so that's about, I don't know, that's half of a quarter teaspoon, so what, an eighth? And we'll do a little bit more. So that's, that's still what I, I would consider not a lot. We're still mixing these pretty, pretty thin, pretty transparent. As you can see, excellent coloring. It, uh, it looks just like just regular purple mica. So, you know, it's awesome to have these color options that not only are glow, powers, glow powders, but still actually look good. You know, like real colors that, that you would use in real bait making, not, not just something, um, you know, more crazy like a glow. You know, purple pearl like this is pretty common. I want to get a little bit more. I, uh, I need better fingernails here to get, get into these bags. Come on, Travis, you need to make me a bag that's easy to open without fingernails. All right. Anyway, I think we're going to stop there. All right, here we go. Let's top one of these bad boys off. It's so hard to do this on camera, so if I goof it up, my apologies. I am not Superman. Literally having to... Whew, yeah, not easy. Not easy. But that's not the worst. I tell you, that's beautiful, though. Like that, the coloring on these... Yeah, I'm digging it, guys. I don't know that uh, glow baits is going to be a, a normal thing in the Jones household. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know really enough about really when when a glow in the dark bait um, is is most effective, right, in actual use fishing. But there's been a, a lot of saltwater baits I know that people charge up and. You know, it seem, seems to do pretty well in the saltwater arena. So I'm sure a bass would or a striper would enjoy it. Is that just not an awesome mold? Just check it out. Those eyeballs poured there in solid black. I'm looking forward to that. However, here's the next mold up. And we're going to choose different colors, okay, of course, for these. Oh, snap. So we're going to do a laminate in this mold yeah see I like this kind of peach this orange yellow straight blue looks nice so I think we're gonna go with we're gonna do some wild stuff we're gonna do like a pink and chartreuse worm oh I just gave it away it's a worm but you don't know what worm it is okay so so there we go yeah that'll have sort of like an electric chicken a popular saltwater color. This will have like an electric chicken vibe. I think it's gonna look sweet. Okay, so apparently Brady called the Bucks and said, I have not made a decision. You know what? It's, who knows? The, I, you know what? I can't even. All right, glow powder. Back to the point of the video. So we're gonna load things up this time. Like I said, you know, the, uh, the jerk baits were sort of the transparency and saturation that I would normally pour them with regular pigments. Now we're really gonna load things up. Really, really gonna opaque them out. All right, so that was two full scoops with the quarter teaspoon. Maybe even a smidge more of this uh, pink orange. Pink orange, okay, yeah, it just looks pink. That's pink orange. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful color. Super impressed with the fact that these are all glow pigments, glow powders, but they actually look good. Uh, okay, then next up is what I guess I would call chartreuse. They are calling it yellow green, which kind of is chartreuse. Why not just call it chartreuse? I'm gonna have to have a word with the guys at Dead On trying to confuse us here about their colors. All right. Stir that in. Oh, sorry, we're not centered. My mistake, everyone. Yeah, looking good here. Yeah. As you can see, super bright, vivid in their own right. Plus, they are glow effects. So let's kind of drizzle some out here. 
yeah so that right there is kind of what we're kind of what we're looking at maybe a little bit thicker on the uh, chartreuse side all right here we go got the uh, laminate injector out the dual injector our uh, sort of electric chicken colors here we go make sure we're recording yep we are Yeah, feeling good there. I imagine when these two colors mix, it'll kind of form a, an orange, a peach, so to speak. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that second one laminated okay. It looked like the uh, green side may have plugged up just slightly. All right, here we go. Drum roll, please. Let's see what we got. Yeah. You can see how sort of orange, right? It's what's so cool about putting two colors together. That basically turned into sort of this peach orange. See what I mean? That pink plays on that chartreuse so much that it completely changes it, even though it was very opaque. This one down here turned out pretty cool. I didn't get a very even laminate, but you can see the tail has a little bit of character to it. So very cool. This is the Magnum AR worm. Now this mold is core shot compatible, but uh, we just ran them as solids. Now, here's an interesting idea. You could do a clear shell with just a glow core. Hmm. Maybe coming to a future video there. I think that would look absolutely killer. All right, now let's get the other one out. And then uh, we are just about ready to open up those jerk baits too and, and see if those uh, came out even remotely good. I think my wife is, okay, I think we have to stop filming for a minute. All right, we're back. We're babysitting, so we have one extra little one in the house right now, so it is mad in there. Okay, these, these actually laminated a little bit better than the first ones. Isn't that cool? You would never think that this color had that in it. Okay, let's get one of these out. This one looks nice, just for whatever reason, yeah. Looking super good there. So, here we go. Oh yeah, check it out. You can see the green vein down the side. Real subtle, you know, there again, I did not mix these up super opaque. That is how I would normally try to make a color like that. Oh my gosh, is that not cool? Guys, these are glow pigments, looking this fresh. Oh yeah. Awesome, awesome. Super exciting. This stuff just never gets old. And it's one of the cool things about this hobby. You know, golly, I've been making baits now since 2012. And it just still gives me all the feels. Such a fun, rewarding hobby. Yeah, there we go. What do y'all think? Is that not cool? All glow pigments. So what we're gonna do now is we're probably gonna go to Walmart to buy a, <laughs> to buy a black light so that we can really charge these up well later. And then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of light up the whole table. So I'm thinking this right here will be sort of thumbnail, except we're gonna wait till it's completely dark here in the shop, in the fish cave, and then we're gonna boom hit all of this, charge it up, and then try to take a thumbnail of just everything that glows. All right, so that was an absolute failure. I did a little research, and apparently an LED black light is not the same as a UV. Uh, it produces less UV, which is what really charges this stuff up. So that was a complete waste of time. Um, yeah, that's the only one they had. 
when I bought it, I was questioning it, but I wanted to try it, so uh, stupid me, that was my mistake. All right, checking back in with y'all. These are actually charging up pretty good, just with the uh, traditional light. Let's let it adjust. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, check out the jerk bait there. That purple top almost kind of takes on a blue effect. You can see super vivid in the worms there. Um, you can see that the brightest color in the jerk baits was uh, was that green center, that stuff right there. Yeah, look at that. Sorry, I'm actually gonna let them charge a little bit longer, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how it's coming. I mean, is that gonna make for an awesome thumbnail or what? So here's something cool that I noticed. If you remember, this color was called pink orange, I believe. Let's uh, let's get it back out. Yeah, pink orange. Okay. Watch this color change. It actually glows orange. Isn't that something? That's super awesome. Look at this stuff. Absolutely amazing. All right, so we're back again, and you can see a lot of that stuff has charged up really well. However, the jerk baits, they're a little bit far from the light, and if you remember, we used a lot less pigment. So I actually put one a little bit closer to, uh, to the lamp here, and even without a true UV bulb, um, you can see that even with low levels, right, of saturation, it's still glowing really well. Um, so I think that if you do want to make colors that are going to be attractive in the daytime as long uh, and um, also have the glow effect, I think definitely with the proper way of charging, I still think you're going to get an awesome effect because... You know, if you remember, those are largely see-through, and we're still getting some awesome, awesome glow out of it. Just to uh, contrast it, there's the difference. Oops. There's the difference in charging it closer and leaving them far away on the table. Look at this thing outside, like completely in the dark, away from any extra light <laughs> in the shop. You can see uh, more of that original green color comes through in the tail where there's less of the pink right to play on it so we're just going to kind of set that on my truck toolbox and uh, let's see right now it is oh that's bright 703 okay my birthday's tomorrow i forgot to mention that yeah cool 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 so the day you're seeing this video is technically my birthday all right so anyway 703 uh, we'll come back in a little bit and uh, yeah, that's not that's not focusing. All right, sorry, it is really hard to focus. This is after 11 minutes. Um, dang it, yeah, it's it's so hard to focus. My apologies, y'all. Yeah, so as you can see, um, when you really get out in the dark, it's still very noticeably glowing, but it's not it's not as strong as it was before. There again, um, I will have to get the correct kind of bulb and kind of really. I guess do a uh, strength test as you want to call it again but um, for charging it the way I did with just a normal bulb um, yeah I mean 11 minutes later and it's still very much uh, noticeable outside so hopefully that's coming through on camera so we're gonna wrap this video up yeah look how great everything looks we're gonna wrap this video up uh, I do want to leave you all sort of with a question out of my own curiosity Anyone who might actually have experience night fishing with a bait that glows in the dark, shoot me some comments down below and kind of let me know how you would actually put something like this to use. You know, I've, I've heard of guys literally having UV bulbs on their boat and just, you know, every 10 minutes or so, they'll recharge a bait, recharge a bait. Um, guys fish literally with glow in the dark live wigglers, you know, earthworms that, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, it's definitely not a crazy concept. It's a real world thing. I just personally haven't really done it. Every time we used to go night fishing in Florida, we would try to throw like the darkest color, like a black buzz bait um, or just a solid black worm at night. Kind of the opposite of this. So, um, you know, as cool as this is, I, I just, I can't speak to my own personal experience using it in a fishing setting. You know, Avery and I have done a lot of night fishing on Lake Talquin, and a lot of the docks have lights underneath the docks. So, in that setting, do you need a glow bait if there's already some light, or would this work even better? 
you know, those are questions I would love to answer because that means that I actually went out and tested it. So uh, hopefully I can do some night fishing soon and uh, get some of this kind of stuff on the boat. But um, I'm curious, anyone with experience, please shoot me some comments down below and let me know sort of your glow bait fishing experience. All right. I think we're going to wrap this video up pretty soon. Takeaways from the day. Uh, we don't know if Tom Brady has retired. And glow pigments are awesome. So that is definitely... Um, what I took away from today. So uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, I was super excited for the release of the glow powders. Um, Travis had told me about them a while back and I was like, you got you got to send me a couple. You got to send me a couple. And then they send me like this giant thing. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we did, we did the glow powders justice with today's video. It is absolutely freezing. So I'm going to go back inside, but uh, thanks for being here, you guys. And uh, thanks for all your continued support. You know, the new year's starting out great. You know, channel analytics are going back up. I don't know if they changed my algorithm, but uh, all of a sudden things are back, back rolling. So uh, I, I appreciate all the support. Anyone who's bought some baits from me recently, thank you again. And uh, we will hopefully see all of y'all plus new people in the next video.